What's up guys, Matt Tolber. So we're in the middle of the woods. Supposedly there's a storm coming tonight. So hopefully you can see I got my tarp set up here. Um, I have my AC. This will be the first night of actually using my Zero Breeze Mark II AC. I have a pretty big power station, so we should be able to run it most of the night. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it'll be a good test of this AC for me. I think right now it's like uh, around 80 degrees, maybe the upper 70s Fahrenheit but it is very humid because it was raining earlier today. So uh, not very comfortable. So hopefully that AC will take some of that uh, discomfort and moisture out of the air. So let me show you my setup here quick guys. This is just like the temperature gauge for outside. So we'll be able to tell if that uh, AC actually helps keep me cool inside. Then I got my 10 by 10 tarp, nothing fancy. I just have it tied on the corners to uh, tree branch right there. Then I have another tree branch right there. Um, I could tie this down a little bit better to like help the water direct the water or something like that i could use another string and then stake it down but i'm not too worried about it if it gets heavy enough either it'll come this way or it might start coming this way which vehicles are able to uh, disperse the water so it's not an issue and then i got my uh, new table arrived this is a really sweet uh camping portable table i wouldn't really take it tent camping it might be a little heavy for that but uh it's actually i think it's made of aluminum so it's not too heavy actually but it's able to hold 100 pounds it's a two by two table and then i think i showed you guys my uh chair from my one of my previous videos it has like these nice pumps for rocking it it's like a lower chair so it's your legs hang out it feels so comfortable i love that chair might not be the best chair for this table because it's a little bit low, but if I need to, I'll get another like a little bit taller chair for this table. I got my Iwatani butane stove. I still got to put the butane in there. I got to cook a little bit of water tonight. I'm going to have this like healthier drink. It's called the uh, purple rain, I guess. So you just got this thing like dissolved. So you got to have like a little bit of warm water and then mix it with the rest. So we'll be trying that out here in a bit. I have this coffee for the morning. I got three, I don't know if I'm gonna have three cups of coffee in the morning, but we may just to let you know if these uh, flavors, what these flavors are like, but this is like a new company. It's called Wildland Coffee. It's like tea bag coffee. So uh, I guess you don't have to like bring a filter or anything like that. You basically just, you know, pour hot water on top of it and like a tea bag and I guess you have coffee. So we'll try that out in the morning. Hopefully under this tent when it's pouring rain should be sweet. So make sure you stick around for that. And I do have all my uh, weather tech window shades on here. So you can't see in, nobody can see in. And in the summer, you want to have the reflective side. See, there's a the weather tech. You want to have this reflective side facing out to help reflect the sun out. And then it's just like to help hopefully keep that AC air in. Then in the winter, you want to like direct sunlight in there. So there's like a black side or whatever that you have facing out. Um, and it's a little bit more stealth because you can't really tell it just looks like tinted windows which i think is kind of cool I mean, if you're curious uh, i just have a little knots tied to the string just enough to cover some of the van so I should probably straighten that out a little bit more but yeah oh well should be okay and then i got the other one tied back here so not perfect setup but uh it looks like it's working for me so do have my little citronella candle going. I'm just trying to burn it out. Uh, it doesn't work that good, to be honest with you, but you know, might as well use it while I still have it. Got my cold water and my Tolbert's camping cup that you guys have probably seen multiple times. My wife made me, and then here's just a quick view of the inside. This table I always have, there's my uh, Zero Breeze AC. I'm gonna put this tube thing on it right there and direct the air closer to me later on. It just looks cooler like this. So uh, I'll probably show you guys a little bit once I, well, it's not plugged in right now. Actually it is, but I gotta turn the battery on, but I'll show you guys a little bit about that Zero Breeze tonight. I have a carbon monoxide detector, even though I don't plan to make anything in here tonight. And then uh, got one of my Phoenix lanterns. You can see my string lights there other lanterns you know i always got those uh, cool accent lights going that's my temperature gauge which will show me uh, if that ac actually makes a difference in here got my pillow got a bunch of stuff to make food and whatnot more accent lights lanterns one thing i didn't know i just really realized as these lights I always use they actually change color watch hopefully you can see <laughs> i just thought they were only white nelson i realized oh they change colors so I think that's pretty cool currently it says it's 78 inside and 76 outside we hopefully uh we can get that 
indoor temp, uh, at least into the 60s tonight. That would be sweet. I did bring my Frizz Cool fan, which I highly recommend, honestly, because it's only like 20, 25 bucks, I think. I'll have a link in the description for stuff like this if you want to check it out. This thing will last all night and actually blows pretty powerful for how tiny that fan is. So it's super light and portable. I don't know, I like it. It's got like low, medium, and high. It's very easy to charge from like a little USB. So I do have my cooler over here. I got some, a uh, little bit of food and stuff in there. Right now, I do have my Zero Breeze connected to like that battery you can get. It's like an 840 watt hour battery. Battery. On high, this thing will last about three and a half hours from my experience, but I do have my uh, Vito Man 1548 watt hour power station. So after this thing dies, I'll probably use that while I'm in here. And then when I go to bed, I'll plug uh, this is the AC wall outlet for that uh, Zero Breeze. I'll plug that into this, and hopefully, this will get me uh, through most of the night. That'll be awesome. Giving you guys a quick view of where I'm at. You can see this dirt road kind of curves there. I've been to this spot a few times. I just really like it because it's like super like kind of private because it's now at this time of year, you can see all the leaves and everything are in. So like people don't really see you. It's kind of fun to have a little bit of privacy here. So here's a little view. And then uh, you guys have seen some drone shots of this lake. Let's walk down here a little bit. So here's the lake I'm by. It's a little swampy right here and uh it's a it's a smaller lake but you can see there's some swans way over there So I had to put some really hot water to uh, help dissolve this, but I do not want hot water. So this is all ice cold water we're gonna put in this. This is uh, one of my wife's little cups. So I think it looks pretty cool. Got a little lawn chair by a fire there. Some nice trees and sky. Some herbal tea concentrate. It's like a grape artificial whatever drink i don't know if this is actually super healthy it's just uh, what they say it's healthy so that's what we're having tonight well it looks like it's all dissolved so here we go drink my little purple rain drink it's actually pretty good it's better than the other drink i had uh from that place it does say to have it like in ice too which i don't have i just have cold water so Sure, on ice, this would even taste better, but for all the middle of the woods, it's pretty good. Just looking at the lake a little bit more here. There is somebody uh, not too far that way that's camping out. It's July 4th weekend. It's the 3rd right now. So happy July 4th. Happy Independence Day, guys. I wasn't going to actually come camping this weekend because I figured it'd be really busy, but I was like, ah, we got a thunderstorm coming. Why not get out there and uh, enjoy the thunderstorm in the van and uh, chill under a tarp we actually get a thunderstorm tonight that would be sweet because this would be the first time i've actually camped in the van while there was a thunderstorm i've had a lot of rain just no actual thunderstorm so if we got some thunder high winds or something that'd be pretty crazy pretty cool cup or what guys look at that you got a couple lawn chairs got a nice bonfire beautiful sky nice sparkling water is that a loon or something sweet well, we still got some sunlight, but she starts going down quick behind those trees and then it gets real dark. This is the state forest that I saw my first bear. <laughs> These bugs are really fine by my face. I do have my bear mace and my air horn just in case we happen to uh, bump into a predator tonight. So how I routed this zero breeze is uh, obviously the tubes come out. I have them going through my WeatherTech window shade here. I cut two holes for the pipes and it holds it really good. I got the window up as high as I can. So it's not blocking that, but hopefully uh, blocking any, you know, insects or any hot air. And then this should hold most of the heat from getting in and uh, cool air from escaping because it's in there pretty tight. And then I have this Skeeter beater, like a uh, thing. It has these little magnets on it. 
So it's just like a little screen for your window. It's not gonna keep 100% of bugs out, but uh, I just don't want bugs getting sucked in through this. So this should prevent at least 95% uh, of the bugs coming through it. Quickly show you guys my power station that I'm using to run that AC and the lights tonight. This is the Vito Man Jump 1500. This is their biggest power station. This has 1,548 watt hours of capacity and 1,500 watt inverter. I actually have a full review on my brand new channel called Tolbert's Camping Reviews, if you guys wanna check that out. But basically I was able to power almost anything you could think of. My guess is I'll probably be able to run that AC at max for about six hours on this thing. But that battery that comes with it will last about three and a half. So I'll probably wind down with that other battery and then I'll eventually plug this in when I'm ready to go bed. They actually have a battery you can get that doubles the capacity. So basically it's like the same thing, but it doesn't have any of the buttons on it or LED screen. It literally just looks like the case and you just take the cord from that and you plug it in right here into this one and it doubles capacity to like 3,096 watt hours, which should run that AC like 12 hours on high, which would be perfect. As you can see, I'm at 98% left. I've been running the lights for a little while. It's pulling zero watts. Uh, you can see it has your 12 volt DC port, two uh, 12 volt 10 amp DCs. Got four USBs. One of them's a quick charge. You got two USB-C ports. These are 100 watt ports. So these are basically like the fastest you usually can get. On a power station some of them are only 60 watt you got three ac outlet with the ground which is perfect you just turn it on by pressing the button so like i wanted to turn on these if i want to turn on these right here i just press that you can see it says uh type c and usb if i turn that on dc now these are all on and then if i want to turn the ac on it does kick the fan in for a few seconds because it's got to convert the uh, DC power to AC power. So it does pull a few watts. So if you're not using AC, you definitely want to turn this off. It does have a little spot to uh, use jumper cables if you want to jump start a car with it, which is a really cool feature. It does have a light on the back, low, medium, high, strobe, and SOS, and off. Here's a little case it comes with. Uh, you got your jumper cables in here. Like I said, it's about a, a foot long cord. You can jump start your vehicle. You just plug it in here. And then uh, basically jump start any vehicle with it. You can press the boost button. They're like really boosted if you're having issues. And you got your, uh, for your car charger, you plug this into your car, your 12 volt cigarette lighter, and you can charge it like trickle charge this thing. And here's your AC wall outlet. You just obviously plug it in right here and you can charge it like that. If you guys are interested in that Vito Man Jump 1500, I'll have a link to my full review on my Tolbert's Camping Reviews channel, where I plug in a ton of different gadgets that pull a ton of power and it was able to handle everything. It does have those new lithium iron phosphate batteries in it. So uh, basically they're a lot safer and then they last like 3000 cycles down to 80%. So that's the new technology. And I think that's kind of the way to go now. Uh, if you don't want to burn down your vehicle, it'll burn down your house and you want them to last you many years. Well, I forgot my butter knife. So we're gonna have to use a spoon. Uh, we are going to have some grilled cheese sandwiches with a little bit of uh, smoked ham. And we got like three different types of cheese. We got American cheese. We got cheddar cheese. We got some Gouda. Actually, I don't know if I've ever had that kind of cheese. So uh, hopefully this will taste good. Also, we got my plate. So we're going to be using this pan as my plate. Well, that's what happens when you walk away for a little bit.
Well guys, I walked away to go pee and I guess I had it a little too high of a temp for that amount of time and I came back and uh, one side's pretty burnt. The other side's like perfect, so oh well, it happens. It's still edible, it's not that bad, just a little bit of surface burn, but. Mm, really good though. Perfect to me. Oops. Whoa. Really good though. Nice and warm. I am going to put my table and chair away, even though obviously I'm going to use it in the morning for coffee in the rain. You never know. You got your windows all closed up and you're sleeping. You got your brand new table and chair. It's like, still want to risk the chance of it getting stolen. Currently it is 72 outside and it says it's 76 in here uh, and 76 in here with no air movement feels like it's like 85. So I'm going to turn this on, got it on boost mode, the highest mode. This is the coldest mode, boost mode. Then you got your like snowflake, which is just like a medium mode. I think it's called cool. Then you got your sleep mode, which is like the low cool. So obviously this pulls less power, but obviously it's going to be less cold. And this is just your fan. So, and then if you want your light on, turn your light on. So right now it's blowing out 72 degree air and that's gonna keep dropping. We got it all connected here. So if this blue light is on, that means the compressor is on. So, ooh, it's getting colder. So hopefully we can get this area cooled off soon. I probably will be putting this pipe on soon to like really blow it at my face, but see if uh, we can get it to cool down in here. Like I said, it says it's 71 outside now and 76 in here. So let's see if we can get into the 60s tonight. Turn that light off. So here's the pipes coming out right now. This one's that's sucking in air from outside. This one's blowing out air. So you can definitely feel it. But the tarp is kind of over it. It's not over it, over it. Like they, they definitely can get some airflow out. But um, at least rain won't get in there. So we'll see how she does tonight some fireworks going off we, i have been hearing a lot of gunshots too people hunting and target practicing and whatnot sun's getting low you know that's when the predators come out here's one more look at my setup here i'm trying to get it to uh, cool off in there a little bit right now hopefully when i'll get in there it'll be a little bit cooler find out Well, it's been about 15 minutes since I turned that AC on, so it may have dropped a degree or so. We'll find out in a second, but it's getting really dark now. The mosquitoes are out. This is when predators come out, so I'm about to head into that van and hopefully I'll uh, be cooler. Well, guys, we are back in a safe van. So far, it's dropped at one degree from 76 to 75. Still says 71 outside. It hasn't been that long. It says it's blowing out 60 Fahrenheit air right now. Um, it did say 57 not too long ago, but me opening the door and whatnot, I guess it must have lowered it. But uh, so it does feel a lot better and this air blowing on me right now feels amazing. I was in a rush to leave. So this battery right here is fully charged, right? This is the battery that connects to this. Guess what I forgot? There's a little tiny cord that connects this together and I forgot it at home. So I'm gonna have about three and a half hours of uh, AC power right here and I can't even use it. So we got about uh, almost five hours of AC to use, which should be enough to help me get to sleep. And then I have this little uh, frizz cool fan. So hopefully I'll stay cool enough tonight. It's a learning lesson. I'll make sure to double check that I have that cord next time. I actually wasn't planning to run this AC on the power station until I went to bed to give me as much AC sleep as I could. But since I forgot the little black cord that connects this battery to the AC, 
I'm gonna have to just run it off my power station right now. So I'm gonna get less AC tonight. Well guys, we're down to 90%, so it's 4.7 hours left at 262 watts. This thing does max pull 240 watts, but because I'm running this light, this light, and then these two string lights and the inverter that tr uh, changes the battery power from DC to AC pulls a little bit. So that's why it's saying it's pulling like 267 watts. Once I go to bed and turn these lights off, hopefully that'll go back down to 240 watts and it'll give me a little bit more runtime. Frizz cool fan going. Got my AC going, got some cold water. Just gonna chill for a minute and enjoy this. And I actually put this little tube thing on so I can like blow it right in my face. So uh, you literally just put this on there and there's like two little screws and an Allen wrench and it goes right on there. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, even better. Yo, this tube makes it feel so much better because like now I can really feel it directly blowing out me instead of just like blowing into the air. Now it's aimed right at me. What's sweet is you can like aim this different ways. Just like if you wanted to aim it up, you just gotta puncture, or, uh, squeeze the top so you know it's kind of blowing up. If you wanted to blow it down, it's kind of cool. Well guys, just a little update. It hasn't been super long, but it's still only down one degree. So uh, if you get something like this in a bigger area, like a van like this, don't expect it to uh, drastically drop the temperature quickly. It does blow very cold air though. Like it feels really good. You gotta realize if you're running off a power station to be able to run something that's bigger than this, you're gonna need a super massive power station if you're trying to like cool this whole van. So I'll give it another hour or two. Well guys, we're down to 73 Fahrenheit. It definitely is less humid in here for sure. Well, we're down to 71 Fahrenheit, so it's dropped about seven degrees so far. Well guys, it's been about two and a half hours since I uh, turned the AC on. It's dropped at about seven degrees, which isn't a lot. But the main thing I've noticed is I feel like it's taken a lot of that humidity out of the air. So I kind of feel like that's part of the battle. And now that a lot of that humidity is out of the air, I feel like maybe now the temperature will drop quicker. Uh, not 100% sure about that. So I'm actually going to go outside for a second and uh, put my GoPro up to get a little night lapse. So let's see if there's anything out there. Well, guys, here, here's what it looks like outside under the tarp. I am about to step out there. So uh, here we go, guys. Super sketchy. Okay, let me get this uh, door shut quick before all the bugs get in there. Well, after stepping outside for a second, I do feel like that tarp is negatively impacting the results of this test because the exhaust air is really hot that's blowing out. And I feel like the tarp is holding some of that heat in and so the intake is re-sucking some of that air back in so it's not getting as cool as if the air was like coming out from the atmosphere in it's more of like super hot exhaust air being sucked in so it's probably harder for the ac to turn that air into super cold air next time i'll make sure there's no tarp above it and that that exhaust air can just blow out freely and then there'll be more cooler air from the atmosphere that'll suck in through the intake so Hopefully next time um, we're able to get this temperature down more. So this is just a test, guys. It's not perfect results. It's going to take me a few times of uh, trial and error to figure out how well this thing works. But so far it definitely does well. It's definitely cooled the area. It's definitely taken a lot of the humidity out of the air. So far I'm pretty happy with the results. I feel like it still can be improved by obviously like not having that tarp on top of it. And maybe if I move the exhaust and intake farther to the corners of the window, um, I'll just have to buy another WeatherTech window shade to do that. Um, it's not too much money, so it might be worth it. Um, at least you guys will learn from my mistakes. So I will try this again, and next time hopefully we'll have even better results. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get to sleep while this AC is still going, and it feels really good in here. Uh, and eventually it's going to die at some point tonight. I do have my backup little Frizz Cool fan. Hopefully it'll keep me cool enough. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning.
so much for my tarp. So my uh, tarp setup is obviously catching a lot of wind. So what I think I'm gonna do is uh, try to lower this and uh, tighten it down here. Well, the wind was blowing so hard, it was like a major crosswind from the lake that it was making the uh, tarp, it was catching wind with the tarp. So I was gonna try to adjust it and lower it down, but it was so windy at the time, I couldn't even readjust it. So I just took it down for now. Um, it seems like the winds died down a little bit. So maybe I should have left it up. I was just worried it was gonna rip out because it was blowing super hard. Turn the AC on for a minute to get some of the heat that this thing put off and uh, some of the moisture that was like all over the windows. It's already looked like it's done its job. My pants got absolutely soaked, so uh, letting those hang dry here for a little bit. Hopefully this AC will help pull some of that moisture out. We have this Wildland coffee, tea bag coffee. So uh, been letting it sit in here. It's probably been about eight minutes, which it recommends. And it says you can leave it a little bit longer if you want it to be stronger. So. I'm gonna leave it uh, probably a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna try this coffee out. Had to turn off the AC, it was getting freezing in here. But just in the middle of the woods, about to have uh, some coffee here from this Wildland coffee, tea bag coffee, in my Mickey cup. So it's raining pretty good. It's probably kind of hard to tell because of uh, all the trees around me. First sip. Mm, it's pretty good. It's Coffee Origins in Brazil. It's a medium roast.
pretty good. Pretty good. I left the front and one of the sides on just for a little bit of privacy, but obviously I wanted to see the rain, so. And I had to crack these windows because I was running that butane stove. I'm gonna tell you this. These little things that have happened in this video are gonna make my next trip epic. I'm gonna do another like thunderstorm because this is my first thunderstorm that I've been in a van and set up a tarp. Obviously I've been in rain before, which is fine, but when you got wind factored in, it changes the game. You get that front from that thunderstorm, it just gets that aggressive wind. I've seen it, but I've never been in it in a van or with a tarp. So you best believe I'm gonna be coming out in some crazy thunderstorms and I'm gonna be really strapping down tarps and uh, getting epic setups here very soon. Once the power station died and the AC went out last night, uh, within 15 minutes it started getting pretty warm again. So I started the van and ran it for about two to two and a half hours. Plugged in my uh, 12 volt car charger to that power station and that charged up to like 27 or 29 percent or something like that. So it's uh, enough to run these LED lights for the rest of the day if I wanted to. This time I'm gonna have this, it's a dark roast dark chocolate and caramel that is what i want just add water no equipment needed so let's have this quick you can tell that moisture is already starting to come out of there I've, it's only been like 45 seconds so i think this thing retains its heat pretty well All right, about to take my first sip of this uh, dark chocolate and caramel. This one's better than the other one, for me, in my opinion. A little hint of uh, caramel. I just love caramel. That's like one of my favorite uh, things in coffee. So to me, this one tastes better than, uh, this was the first one I had. This tastes good for sure. It's definitely a good coffee. Uh, I just think this one tastes a little bit better but everybody's got their own taste. This one doesn't taste as strong to me though, honestly. This one tastes a little bit lighter. Oof, there's a lot of these little like horse flies out here, so I'm not liking this. I don't know if I'll be able to enjoy a coffee out here. Might not be such bad news that I wasn't able to sit under that tarp this morning because there's like a lot of these like little horse flies or whatever flying around me. So I guess maybe when it was raining, they wouldn't have messed with me. But now that it's done, they're definitely. Let's walk down with my Mickey cup. Check out that water. Dang, there's a lot of flies. If you guys can't see them, I'm out of here. Well, here's the milk jug that I had that AC running into. So, pulled quite a bit of moisture out of the air for you know, the few hours it was running. So, not bad. All right, guys, well, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully this was a decent video. Uh, a lot of learning lessons that are gonna make for sweet trips in the future. There's a lot of mosquitoes and horse flies out here, so I'm gonna get in that van and take off, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.